from Paradise, California, weighing 240 pounds, Mike Bond. His opponent from Houston, Texas, weighing 309 pounds, Ernie the Cat Lad. Ernie the Cat Lad, all pro in five different years uh, in football. One of the truly legendary uh, figures in the uh, sport has uh, also become one of the most awesome and feared and respected competitors in pro wrestling. Going up against uh, six foot now, mind you, Mike Bond is 64 inches tall. He's 245 pounds. And look at the difference in size uh, between him and Ernie. Lad, well, yeah, just uh, so much bigger all the way around, and we're talking about a big man. Well, you're talking about one of the biggest, uh, Ernie the Cat Lad, and one of the biggest and toughest that I've ever run across tonight. You know, Coach Eddie Robinson of Graham and uh, Cook Ernie Ladd, Charlie Cook, and he's produced some of the greatest professional athletes ever in any kind of sport. And you see uh, Big Ernie just manhandling this big Mike Bond. And like you say, he's 6'3", 6'4", and 240. And uh, man's no uh, no uh, small person himself, and Ladd just completely dominates him. Ladd using that forearm very effectively. Not only his, uh, his opponent, but uh, out in the crowd too. He keeps on the crowd. He keeps. Uh, he tries to keep your mind off the match by uh, striking you out. And uh, just looking across and seeing his man is enough to strike a lot of people out, Gordon. That's uh, true. Now, and Lance caught him as Bond was charging, and Bond's uh, youthful exuberance brought him over to Lad's corner. Full bore in Lad. That waited on him when he got close enough. He put that 517 right into his chest. A lad won't waste any movement at all. He's a, a seasoned veteran. He knows what he has to do when he goes out there. And uh, when he's with a man like uh, young Mike Bond, he's out there and try to give it everything he can to pull an upset, which uh, you never can tell about the championship right when Bond might come off and, uh, and grab him. But he put that 17 right up against the flush of his face right there, doesn't he? Test into the face and comes down across him once again, now into a lateral press. He got him free and it's all over. It is all over for uh, Mike Bond and knowing Ernie Ladd, he's probably got some comments that he wants to make and uh, with Ernie Ladd, you pretty well uh, go along with whatever he, uh, yeah, right, exactly. We certainly want to uh, allow him an opportunity to say what's on his mind and uh, let us welcome this man back to the state of Florida, Ernie the Cat Lad. Let's get the record straight right now. What I cannot understand, why didn't I get a shot at the World Championship with Dr. Rose? What do you have? A guy like Charlie Cook, a guy that I made, I taught him everything he knew when he was in college at Ramblin' College, Ramblin', Louisiana. I used to take his lunch when we were in college. I can take his belt now. Dirty Rose is the only champion. But as long as he was, because he never wrestled yours too, Ernie Lad, the king of the square circle. A lot of things have been going on in Florida that I don't like. I'm back, and I'm going to do something about it. And Gordon told you just remember this. I'd rather go to my mama's funeral and go to my own funeral. In other words, I don't care who I hurt, who I hurt. Charlie Cook, I'm very notice on you because you're the possessor of a belt that does not belong to you. And Dirty Road, Florida has had enough of you, Dirty Road. Remember one thing, Dirty Road. Why, there's only a fool that looks upon the sea of a wise man and call it luck. I'm a very wise man. That's why I'm known as the king of the square foot. So anybody cross my tail, you going to have to pay in blood. And this bugger and my girl come back in, they screaming and hollering. They screaming and hollering in the USA. Well, I know I'm in the USA. I'm the best in the USA. Bugs and McGraw, don't make the fatal mistake and try to take some of my glory. The spotlight belongs on yours, true early lad. And don't you ever forget it. One of the things you tell a cook, nothing ever comes to a sleeper but a dream. And it's gone when he or she awakens. But Charlie Cook, 
If you ever dreamed that you could beat me on your best day, slap your face because you've been asleep and wake up and face reality because I'm the king of the square circle. Yours too, Ernie Land. You talk too much, Don Coley. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, uh, there you have it. The comment from Ernie the Cat Lad. An outstanding man is... Uh, you uh, just heard him extol his own virtues, and we just saw him in the ring, uh, exhibiting the fact that he is indeed uh, virtue to his own plain king of the square circle. <laughs>